this question all the time. How to become a successful HVAC system designer? Hi, my name is Babak. I'm your host and this is the channel of the world of building design. So in this video, I would like to share with you six tips. These tips are going to help you to build your knowledge set and, and be able to confidently design HVAC system. So the number one tip would be you have to know the drafting software especially AutoCAD software, because you need to do a lot of drafting. You need to lay out uh, equipment in the mechanical rooms and in different uh, parts of a building. So knowing that the AutoCAD software is a key to become an HVAC system designer. And uh, the other software that you need to know about is Revit MEP, because nowadays the, many of the organization has moved toward 3D modeling and many design starting from the architectural design takes place in, in Revit MEP. So it is very good for you to learn and understand the Revit MEP, which allows you to the 3D modeling of the mechanical system uh, within the architectural 3D model. And uh, if you'd like to learn about the Revit MEP and 3D modeling for mechanical system, I do have uh, more than 50 videos related to the Revit MEP that you can visit uh, in the channel of the World of Building Design. Number two tip is that you have to know some good load calculation softwares. As an example, uh, they can be a carrier hab software, which we do have its training going right now in this channel. Uh, or there are other softwares in the market which are also very reputable and uh, very helpful in that manner. Uh, such as uh, Trace 700 that is uh, produced by a company of Train. Uh, so this software or software similar to this helps you to do proper load calculation of uh, your building and understand what is the total air you require to offset the heating and cooling load in your building, how much ventilation you require. You calculate that based on the standards based on the occupancy load. Also, you would be able to do uh, energy analysis or economic analysis to understand uh, what are the systems that could be used uh, for a building uh, as an economy system and discuss that with your client. So knowledge of the building load calculation is very essential uh, for a HVC system designer uh, to, to learn about. Number three, you have to have a very good understanding of the uh, ASHRAE standards. So you have to get into their site and learn about their articles, their books, uh, pretty much all the areas that they have created the guidelines for. Um, some of the very fundamental uh, ASHRAE guidelines that it's a must know for a HVAC system designer is uh, knowing uh, the minimum ventilation requirement for acceptable air quality in a building, which is ASHRAE 62.1. You need to know about the ASHRAE number 55, which is about the uh, thermal condition uh, for the human occupancy. You need to know about the ASHRAE 90.1, which is uh, the guideline on how to to select and size your equipment to be in compliance with the minimum energy requirement. So there are different guidelines that you have to incorporate into your design because in North America, where the focus of this study is, regulation that you need to apply to be able to pass the local codes, you have to comply with uh, pretty much all of those uh, standards across the board. So knowing the ASHRAE standards are very, very critical uh, for a HVAC system designer to propose a standard design to its client. Number four, you need to know about uh, manufacturers and uh, understand uh, what they produce and the major manufacturers produce uh, equipment for HVAC system uh, such as pumps, cooling towers, um, you know, air handling units, uh, boilers, etc. So you have to, to understand your local and international manufacturer. You have to familiarize yourself with, with their products to understand what they produce and what you can specify as part of your design. Number five, you have to be very good at understanding the local code and standards. And also you have to know about uh, your uh, provincial and your national codes, because depending on the country you're residing in, uh, there are codes that 
that you need to comply with when you get the permit for your building, when you pass the permit inspection, uh, you have to have a very good understanding of your local code. So you have to comply with all of those requirements uh, with the location where you live in or with your local uh, jurisdiction. There are sometimes city level codes, bylaw codes that you need to comply with. Depending on the city you are, there might be some codes that applies to your design that you need to take into consideration. And the last and most important part of becoming a successful HVAC system designer is to get some level of degree. You have to either attend a university uh, in a mechanical engineering program or you can get into the college and get an advanced diploma and get a building science or uh, HVAC diploma in engineering because in some countries like Canada, United States and pretty much in North America you have to be able to stamp your own design and take the responsibility of your design so in order to get the stamp and get the licensed engineer to do uh, that work you have to have a minimum qualification or academic qualification for this purpose. If you want to become an engineer or professional engineer, you have to have at least a, a four years degree. And if you want to get a diploma degree, you can become a certified engineering technologist that also can help you to get your stamp for the technologist uh, certification. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.